We're up to chapter 10. So we finished what? Oops. 13 years in the past. Mitsuru Kusimoto plunged himself into a coma, sealing his fate alongside Kuwana's. Ridden by guilt, Kuwana sets off on a path of vengeance, and the bullies he drags with him are shackled to the shadows. However, Yokosawa's murder serves as a deadly wake-up call to what he's done. Getting your identification on record, so you won't be a threat to us anymore? Uh, what? And I think you owe us after everything you've done. Expect me to come collect one of these days. <sighs> your carriage awaits, Mamiya-san. Don't tell me we're going back to that dingy arcade. <laughs> we sure are. But try not to hold a grudge. It wasn't us who abandoned you. <sighs> Yagashi, you already called Sari-san and the gang, right? Yeah. I let them know what's up. They said they'll head over when they're ready. Did Shirosaki-sensei say anything? <laughs> well... She was pretty stunned when I told her who Kuwana really is, and what he's up to. Sounding a little smug there, Higashi-san. Taking credit for the detective work you didn't even do? Back me up here, Yagami-san. Whatever, man. Kuwana got away, and that's all that matters. Still, the task in front of us is finishing Sari-san's case. We have to clear up Ahara's crime once and for all. With Mamiya-san's help, of course. <sighs> Finally. I'm ready to get some answers. Well, we still got time till Shirosaki-sensei gets here. Why don't you take a breather, Yagami-san? Huh? That'd be okay? Sure. I'll call you once everyone's here. Yeah. A break sounds good. By the way, Higashi, is anything unusual going down in Kamacho lately? Anything involving RK? Yeah, about that. My guys are saying things have been a little too quiet since yesterday. Soma and Akutsu are out in Ijincho, too. When they come back, they're in for a rude awakening. And they can pay for what they did to Kaito Aniki. Make them pay? Aren't your Yakuza days behind you now? That's not the Yakuza in me talking. That's just a problem I'm gonna be the solution for. Uh, isn't that exactly what a Yakuza would say? Fine. Think of it as getting revenge for a brother. Uh... I'm doing the right thing, damn it! Yeah, maybe it's just how you're putting it. Besides, what's the matter if I was Yakuza? I've got my own code, and I'm gonna do right by me. Whatever you say. Much as things change, they stay the same. So as you can see, uh, he was the old uh, teacher from 13 years ago, and uh, he almost like blackmailed his student, the well, the students that were bullying, uh, to do his uh, like you know do his bidding. But uh, there was like some casualties, like what happened to uh, what the sensei, where she was like not the bull, you know, she was a. Uh, not one of the bullies, but the arcade gang uh, did uh, take her out. Alright, so let's, uh, well, let's, 
All right, let's see. The, let's see what the side mission is. And then we'll. S I don't. Okay. Guess it started. I said, give me that goddamn money. Move it. I don't have the code to open the register. I'm just a part timer. I don't give a shit what you are. Open it up or you're dead. Hmm? What the? Is that a robbery? And cut. Oh, it's a, it's a movie shoot. <laughs> That's the last shot for the day. Thank you, everyone. Tomorrow morning, we pick up things back at the studio. Extras, you'll be getting an email from us soon. Thanks again. Oh man, they were shooting Office Alone 4 here. I I wish I could have stuck in among the extras. <laughs> According to Chatter, they're shooting a robbery shooting at another location too. Are movies and robberies that popular? Oh, it's for a movie. Jeez, I was really worried for a second there. Guess I should beat it. Don't want to get in the way of cleanup. Keyword office. Okay, so. So those are the keywords we could use, so let's see. Keywords, let's see, office alone. Let's see, uh... Let's see, what will we get for robberies? Our same location. I see if the movie shoot is on that location. We're gonna try to see if, how far we could get in the game. I uh, want to try to finish this game either this week or next week, and then we can start Final Fantasy. I say, give me the goddamn money. Move it. I don't have the code to open the register. I'm just a part timer. I don't give a shit what you are. Open it up, or you're dead. Hmm. What the? Is that robbery? But weren't they shooting the same scene before? And they said they were done. What's this? Temporary closed due to filming? Something doesn't add up. They were done shooting at the cafe at Tenkenshi Street. Why would anyone bother shooting identical scenes at a different location? I don't see any staff around. This is fishy. I should observe the storefront for a bit. Oh yeah, okay. What does it say to... Suspicious. Can't say I ever seen Up trying to use one of those as a sign before. Hey, SOS. Hmm. Wait, is that actually saying there's a robbery right now? Hope I'm just worried about nothing, but if it's right about this, there's a real problem. I should check out the situation for myself. Maybe I'll loop around to the back of the store and pop in quietly. Ah, it's locked. Well, this is an emergency. Oh, he's back to the lock picking. Let's see if I could remember how to do this. Nice. Got it. We okay, got it. Open the register or you're dead. Hear me? No, please, don't do this. I can't I can't open it. I really can't. I knew it. That's not what I was saying that the robbery right now, not a sh film shoot. I got call the cops. This is going nowhere. F it. Ah, uh, now give me the money or the lady's dying right in front of you. Uh. This is bad. No time for the cops. I have to do something. But what can I do without getting anyone hurt? How can I close the distance? Lights out. We have a circuit breaker. Ooh. <laughs> the mascot! 
The only Michio outfit for mo promotional uses in the Omichi collaboration menu kickoff event. Guess that explains why it's here. Could this help me get closer to Burglar? Yeah, let's put it on. Well, I guess he wouldn't expect <laughs> only Michio to charge on him. Maybe I'll actually take him by surprise. Can I, though? This is starting to seem a little out there. Do I really want to take on this burglary as only Michio? Put it on! You know what? If I find the right spot, I could. Alright, pal. Time to Michio Maker! Get Michio Maker! Michio Maker! What? <laughs> Did I see? Why would I see a gi <laughs> giant orange head dude standing there? That was close. I guess this costume's too distracting for me to approach him. Really? I thought it was a good idea. Snake? A barrel? Let's oh, try the snake one. Dun, 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 dun. So many boxes, guess. They all get tossed back here. Aren't they supposed to be fine with them? This one's pretty big, though. Maybe I could get in and sneak up on them. Real slick like. Alright. We're doing snakes. Sneaking. Sneak. Metal Gear Solid. Set the gravity pretty low. Feels like it can match, though. If I don't make any wrong moves. Alright. Time for some tactical cafe action. Dun, 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 dun. Whatever. Just a huh? box. <laughs> What's with the box? Was this here before? Oh. Whoa. What the? Almost had him, but at least he's distracted up. He's distracted from the woman now. Are you honestly effing with me right now? That's it, you're dying first. Uh, I guess this is how we're doing it. Finish him! Done yet? Can we grab something else for you? Hey! It's over. Stop resisting. Police, we got a report of armed robbery. Yeah, this is a man. I caught him in the middle of it. Run! Huh? Huh? Ugh. Seriously? That woman's partner with the robber! I'll chase after him. You arrest the woman. Huh? Yes, sir. Calling for backup. Calling for backup! Chase begins. You won't get away. All right, so can we? I guess I don't see anything that we can kick. Oh! Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, he's closing. Yeah. Hold up. Here we go. All right. What the? Come on. I'm not sure how I'm messing up these all. Where'd he go? You won't get away. Oh, there he is. Won't get away. Uh. 
No way. We only got to chapter, uh, we only got to start of chapter 10, uh, uh, last stream. So I think we have, uh, around three more chapters left. Oh, we caught him! Well, man, I ha- I, I've been doing mi just mini assignment, right now I'm doing a side mission, I, I just- Cause uh, last one, this ch chapter was too short. You're done. Give it up. No way. Use the move she has a cover though. That was pretty smart, I have to say. And a partner who plays along as a customer. You had your own little scene going on, didn't you? This wasn't how it was supposed to end. All right, so we did this. Let's see. Is that the end of the side mission? Thank you for helping to apprehend the suspect. Oh, no problem. Oh, just that no innocent people got hurt. Those two are husband and wife team. They've been making a real mess all around the country lately. They take advantage of different local events to commit crime without raising much attention. I see. Ah, so this time they explored a movie shoot nearby. But it wasn't enough to keep them out of the clip. Thanks again. Oh, and the owner of Elf's asked me to give you this. Oh, we got a uh, new extract recipe. Ah, uh, thank you. I imagine they'll be closed for a while after t something like this, huh? Quite the opposite. Actually, he said he couldn't wait to open the doors back up once we were done with the scene. Oh. Wow, really? Well, I guess that just helps for you. Even the armed robber isn't enough to shake him. I suppose I better get going. Right. Please report any crime you see. All right. That's uh. So we finished that side mission, I think, and then we'll now we'll just continue with the uh, chapter ten. Wait, there's more. Hey. Did you see that office alone for leak? There's this burglary in the cafe. It's so sick. Huh? Weren't they just shooting that though? How's it out already? I guess someone secretly filmed it on their phone while they were on set. You see, serious have to see it. Like, it's so real. Was it the chase scene that I was doing? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> what? This angry guy catches the robber. Is he the main character? Can't really see his face from this angle. Any idea who he is? I don't recognize him. Maybe this is his first movie. He's good at action, though. He's got acting chops. He might even have a decent career. I'll show you chops. Maybe I'll put my head in the drama club one of these days, though. We finished that one. Let's go to uh, the actual mission. Charles, what taxi is this? Park Riverlord. Right, check, check this. Park Riverlord, okay, that's it. Right over here. Really? You too, Genda Sensei? What? Am I in the way? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. I didn't know you still did field work. I figured no, I haven't seen the that one. Fast one on Saurikun, I'd at least want to look him in the eye. Why are all these people here? What gives? We've been waiting for you, Yagami-san. Mamiya-san is about to enlighten us on the truth behind the groping. Good. Oh, and I heard about Sawa-sensei. I'm so sorry. Our condolences. Looks like she got mixed up in all this when R.K. was chasing after Kiwana. But we're still not sure why they chased him. To figure that out, we'll have to retrace Kiwana's steps. Exactly. Oh, I heard about that the outfits. Said, Let's start with the harassment charges, Mamiya-san. Fine. Let's get this over with. 
pout all you want, but keep the answers straight. Got it? <laughs> Ahara's assault was designed to establish a false alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. So Kawana had you play the victim, and together you pulled one over on the police and the court. Can you confirm if this is all accurate so far, please? Yeah, yeah. The person who groped you on the train wasn't Ahara-san himself. It was his stand-in. And my understanding is that he had conspirators to help him fabricate this event? That's right. What was Kawana doing at the time? Was he in Ijinsho or Tokyo? Didn't you hear your lady friend? Ahara-san had a stand-in. And <laughs> that stand-in was our sensei. You mean Kawana posed as Ahara himself? So this Ahara was actually Kawana. Huh. <laughs> Sensei and Ahara-san have a pretty similar build. Not sure they could have pulled it off otherwise, you know? But some spots don't look right, like his mouth. You sure that's really Kawana-san? That part around his mouth is fake. He said he scanned Ahara-san's face and made it on a 3D printer. Oh, huh. You can print things in 3D now? Well, it's a machine that takes a model's data from a computer and prints physical objects using materials like resin. So if you were to scan a person's face onto a computer, a 3D printer could accurately recreate it. Hmm. I don't know the details, but that's what Sensei used to become Ahara-san. Something like this? See, with a 3D printer, a piece of a face is pretty easy to make. What the hell? I see. His eyes are hidden behind the sunglasses, and the seams on his jaw are obscured by the mask. That's incredible, I must say. With the mouth area so visible, it's too convincing to think he's anybody else. And with the prosecution assuming he's just another sexual predator, they fell for it. This is no time to be impressed. In case you forgot, he had the defense fooled, too. Uh -huh. uh, right. Assuming Kawana was Ahara's double, there's still some evidence I'm iffy about. I'm of the same opinion. Okay. Which evidence is questionable? Time to pull back the curtains on this case. Edit evidence I'm sure of. I need to press mad at me about it. Also, uh, I'm not sure if you're still there, but, uh... Uh, in the beginning of the uh, stream, I did say that, uh, that Koala is, uh, it goes back 13 years ago where, uh, Koala was the teacher for the, uh, that had the bullies and the other students. So, the ex-teacher, uh, blackmailed, uh, the, you know, the bullies into do his bidding since he, like, uh, he did uh, have like a set up a camera like you know where the in the classroom so he has like if those video evidence of uh, the bullies doing their you know their bullying and then later on uh, he got more evidence by I guess uh, as they got older uh, the main bully I guess got a uh, what got you know got, got grabbed and put in a van but uh, you know, since the, those guys, the, since the older brother weren't like having masks or anything, he also had pictures and uh, video of them uh, taking the you know the main bully into the van, and then later on having a picture of uh, that bully being dead, which uh, I think the teacher, uh, you know, uh, I guess it killed him or so. Yeah, the hand, yeah the handyman is the the ex teacher. He was the original teacher, and he got uh, fired because of the incident that happened thirteen years ago, where the person that got bullied committed suicide. Uh, he was like just probably a, hour, a couple hours late before the student committed, uh, you know, before he got the evidence that they were doing bullying. So once you know, once the guy uh. Once the news of the suicide happened, him, the teacher, and the main bully got, uh, I guess, you know, were, were, took the mo most of the blame, while the other people that were, you know, there also, because I think there was, like, around seven or ten, uh, you know, other people that were and also helping with the bully, but only the main bully got, uh, 
You uh, got to blame. Yeah, for um, uh, I'm I'm not sure if you saw it in the first uh chapter. Uh, Mishiba was the bully for Ahara's uh Ahara's uh son's uh suicide. So uh, I guess four years later. After the, you know the judgment system, uh, we ruled that the school didn't have any uh, fault in the suicide. I uh, guess he took matters into his own hands and uh, you know took out the main bully that was bullying his son. So, and his alibi was uh, instead you know instead of being a big murder charge. Uh, he was charged as a sex offender for groping uh, somebody in the, on the train. <laughs> so, but actually, when we find out from this just a couple minutes ago, yeah, she was uh, working with the. We found out later on they were working together. To this probably this one right wait so, let's, so I'm thinking it's either this one or this one so let's do this wait uh, a better press oh, let's see this one let's see am I wrong any thoughts after seeing this stop it you're gonna look away? You aided and abetted by playing the victim, didn't you? I mean, yes. Who put this video up on the internet? Sensei did. He said from the start that once ahara san got his guilty verdict, he'd upload it to the internet. So that was all part of the plan. Yeah. Sensei can't forgive the law for how easy it lets out bullies. ahara sans the same way. His son's death was brushed aside. The court blamed his suicide on unknown factors. And that's what led them to his whole plan. The real victim is some bully who never got what he deserved, and the killer gets off in court by being convicted of battery. How would the public respond after finding out they'd gamed the law like that? So Kawana and Ahara's real plan was to make a mockery out of the justice system. <sighs> Seems to be going well for them. The courts are beside themselves for dragging the police into this. I guess Ahara really was desperate. He was never concerned about his own punishment. He tarnished his own name to humiliate the law. Yeah, cop or not, Ahara is a broken man. Nobody took responsibility for his son's death, and the courts all but ignored his case. No wonder he went along with Kawana. I can't even imagine. Yeah. Sensei and Ahara's son are the perfect pair with nothing to lose. The only ones who do are the ones forced to comply. Us. Speaking of which, are we done here yet? You better press me, on me yeah, on this evidence. Time to pull back the curtains on a groping case. This? How should we be looking at this? The guy getting taken down in the footage is the railway Harrison. Sensei had already switched places with them before the scene happened. No one saw through his disguise. Makes sense. There'd be no way to swap places after getting caught like this. The sunglasses were removed too. Also, the person who tripped him was one of ours. So was the one who took the smartphone video. So I'm guessing the people that grabbed him probably are also them, part of it? He would have just gotten away. But the most important part of it was spinning Ahara's son as the culprit out in public. Right. If that didn't happen, the entire alibi goes up in smoke. More or less. So basically, this entire battery case was calculated from the start. Nothing but smoke and mirrors. Alright, so what are the, what are the, 
Okay. Is there the blind spots? How about this then? What's this? A map of the station? We made a diagram of Shinjuku Station. The platform's packed with cameras, but take a closer look and you'll notice a small blind spot. We've all been looking into it. So, let's say Ahara murdered Mikoshiba and faked his alibi at the station. If that was the case, then after Ahara had his stand and do the deed, they would have swapped at this blind spot. You... Sound about right. Is I give up what you're looking for? You figured it out. You win. <laughs> what more do you want? There's more? Where's this one? This piece of the puzzle still needs an explanation. Is that... The police examined the trace evidence on Ahara's hands after he was caught. And from the analysis, the same fibers from Mamiya-san's undergarments were found on Ahara's hands. That's right. If the stand-in was the groper, Ahara-san wouldn't have touched Mamiya-san at all. But the evidence on Ahara-san's hands suggests otherwise. Rather strange, isn't it? I take it there was a trick to this, too? That's simple. Before I got in the train, I met with the real Ahara-san at the underground platform. That's when I had him touch the undergarment. After that, all I had to do was go to the bathroom and put them on. That's where the fibers in the trace were from. Well, that's how they did it. What the police found on Ahara-san's hands was exactly what we wanted them to find. And it would serve as hard proof he grabbed me. The cords really ate it up. It was hard not to laugh sometimes, to be honest. You're really starting to open up. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> okay, what else is there? Let's try this running away one. What do you make of this? I mean, what's there to doubt? Uh... The one running on the platform wasn't a Harrison. It was Sensei pretending to be him, right? Meaning... There is no more meaning. That's all there is to it. A Harrison used a stand-in to fake his alibi. The stand-in turned out to be none other than Jin Kuana, which Mamiya-san just finished explaining in detail. Yep. Good to know we have all our ducks in a row. Try this one. If I do the time one, the ticket. How about this then? And this is? Before the incident, Ahari used this card to go through the ticket gate at Ikabukuro, the time of which was recorded. Right, and it was on October 7th at 7.43 a.m. Thanks, Hoshino-kun. Happy to help, Yagami-san. At the earliest, Mikoshiba's time of death would have been 7.30 a.m. If Ahara killed Mikoshiba in the Jin Show, he would have only had 13 minutes to get to Ikibukuro. And frankly, that's impossible. That's what's dumping you? Huh? Sensei borrowed the card from Ahara's son beforehand and passed through the gate. Afterward, he slipped it back to Ahara's son when they switched places. That way, Ahara's son ended up having the time stamped card on him. Makes sense now. So even the entry time through the ticket gate was used as part of the alibi? It all seems so obvious now that I hear it. Nobody'd suspect that a groping was being used as an alibi for murder. Yeah. And on top of all that, no one knew Mikoshiba had been killed during the trial. They really pulled it off. Anything else? Yagami-san, you sure that's enough? Yeah, I think we've got plenty. Bottom line? Groping was a fabrication. At the very least, we know that the prosecution's evidence can all be refuted. The courts were being intentionally misled. I'm considering filing an appeal. Are you saying you want a retrial? I am. 
will reveal Ahara and Kuana's plot and overturn the verdict they issued. Hmm. That might be harder than it sounds. Why do you say that, Gendo-sensei? Well, the previous trial resulted in Ahara being found guilty, right? As the client, if he doesn't want an appeal, there's no way you're getting one. Doesn't matter what any lawyer tries to do. If Ahara refuses to appeal, then that's that. And we'll talk to him tomorrow. First, we need to see how he reacts to everything we've got on him. Sounds good. Then let's meet at the detention center tomorrow. Will do. So, we done for the night? Sure are. Great job, everyone. Go get some rest. So how are we going to convince the uh, client to do an appeal? Yo, Yagami. You sure it was cool to let that mommy and chick just go home? Yeah, why? I mean, she helped Kuana kill all those people. Aren't you going to turn her in or something? I would, but there's nothing we can do. <sighs> nothing we can do? Frankly, we don't have any proof of the murder she was talking about. What, so this is all for nothing? Nothing directly pointing to Mamiya, anyway. Aside from Mikoshiba, no other bodies turned up. Which means all we can do is take her home, right? Sugira is making sure she gets back safe. <sighs> Fine. Forget it. Why are you still here? Everyone else went home already. Come on, man. Why the cold shoulder? Am I really that annoying? <laughs> you wouldn't be the guy I'd call to hang out with. So if you're done, then go. Wow. Straight for the jugular, huh? But if it's help you need, I'll be there. I've had nothing but time lately. But only if you bow your head and ask nice. <laughs> then I'll consider it. <laughs> I know for a fact you'd help me out regardless. So why waste a good bow? Thanks for the drink. Dude, come on. That was your cue to bow and ask nice. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll go back to our, um... Uh, do we have, uh... Okay, there it is. So all the... I, I found out, like, uh... If I'm fighting this guy, I have to make sure that I don't, like, you know... I'll lose all my health. Or it'll, um... Uh, I'll, like, make me go back to, like, where I, uh... First, like, did any event, or, like, if I'm doing, uh... It's not like if I die to one of those, like, purple guys. Uh, I think I did in between the, all the fightings. Uh, I lose all those, uh, credits, or, like, you know, all those, uh, SP points I have found. Really, guys? Originally, I bought all the stuff in the shop. But since I lost to uh, somebody else on the when I was fighting, I had to buy everything back. Uh, so, like, see, I don't have it. I, this doesn't show me buying this thing. So, we reverted back to like a previous uh, state. So let's buy this here. That's what I want. I'm not gonna do the dra uh, drone anytime soon, so. But the cool thing is, uh, I found out that you could buy uh, the ROMs for your uh, master system uh, uh, thing in your, uh, in, uh, at the office. I didn't see the thing, but I did input the codes for it. Let's see, the, this is our system. What games do we have? Oh, I didn't know you could get that many games. <laughs> oh, 
that's kind of neat. Besides, like, the arcade stuff, you can play on your own system. <laughs> so I'm guessing we're bringing the egg to the bottom. Alright, so I guess we'll, once we get unlocked all the other games, we can try it out. Alright, right, sleep time! Staff on Satori and made to interview Ahara. Better take the cab to Tokyo Detention Center. Taxi to Tokyo Dis Okay. Is Ahara gonna talk? So, you're recommending an appeal. I have that right? Did some new evidence come to light? You Imami have told us some things. Like how you faked your alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. You wanted the sexual battery conviction, right? Well... Your goal was to avenge your son and humiliate the law on a grand scale. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ahara-san, we have a much better grasp of the situation than you think. And what exactly have you grasped? Like Yagami-san just said, you're innocent. As far as the harassment goes. As your lawyer, I'll file for an appeal. And we'll make sure the world knows it. Thanks, but no. I'm scum of the earth. A pervert. The prosecution and the judge made that very clear in the verdict. On the day of the crime, October 7th, at around 6.30 a.m., you were in Ijincho, not Tokyo. <laughs> Baloney. I was relaxing at home. Except that you weren't. Oh? You wanted to give the man who pushed your son to suicide the beating of a lifetime. And you'd miss out on that opportunity if you were at home, which is why you were in Ijincho instead. Isn't that right? You and Kawana's former student staked out Mikoshiba's house until he left. Then you dragged your prey into a car and brought him to an abandoned building in Ijincho, which would later become a murder scene. Every bone on Mikoshiba's fingers was broken. Remembering how he pushed Toshiro-kun to his death, it's no wonder you'd go that far. You tortured Mikoshiba without a shred of remorse. You inflicted no small amount of pain and terror. There's no way you weren't there, and I'd put my money on that. And then... You need the whole play-by-play, -play, even though you already know it? Oh, not at all. I'm just fascinated by this outrageous little story. I use a piece of evidence to show that what he did after, wait, next after beating Meshiba. As for what you did next after beating Mikoshiba. <laughs> it's quite a home video. Without leaving anything on Mikoshiba's body that could be traced back to you, you slid his throat. Estimated time of death was around 7.30 a.m. on October 7th. You tossed the bloody coat and made your way to Ikebukuro Station, where Yui Mamiya was waiting. Are you sure? I was at Ikebukuro by 7.30 a.m. It would have been impossible for me to kill Mikoshiba and Ijincho. The person in the security camera footage in Ikebukuro was a double who imitated your likeness. The identity of whom belonged to Jin Kawana, the handyman in Ijincho. Or maybe you know him by a different name. Former high school teacher Yu Kitakata. So which name did he give you? I don't know who you're talking about. With Kawana in view of the security camera, you met up with Yui Mamiya at Ikebukuro first. That's where you touched the undergarments she had prepared. The police would later discover the trace evidence on your hands and pin the groping on you. Then you made your way to Shinjuku Station. After that, Mamiya and Kuwana acted out the groping as they arrived at Shinjuku Station. Kuwana jumped out of the train and Mamiya chased after him. And then, in the smallest of blind spots in a station absolutely packed with cameras, 
You were waiting for Kiwana, who looked just like you. With the two of you matching, you were able to swap places in that huge crowd without anyone noticing. Kiwana handed you the transit card used to pass the ticket gate. Just one piece of hard evidence that places you and Ikebukuro at 7.43 a.m. And right after the swap, Mamiya started calling for help. After that, well, we've all seen how the news reported it. You were caught in a public place with plenty of witnesses. An active duty police officer arrested for sexual battery. The public outcry was very clear. As a result, despite it being your first offense, you were actually tried and convicted. The consensus is that it was a fitting punishment for someone so heinous. Even as your lawyer, I felt the same. Have some confidence in yourself, Shirosaki sensei The prosecution, the judge, and a lawyer like you all laid out the evidence in court and found me guilty. I'm in no position to doubt you. And I've long accepted the ruling that Toshiro was never bullied. There's nothing I can do but abide by the rule of law. Right? That's all I can do, right? I know what you're trying to say. You carried out the justice that the courts wouldn't, right? Everything my son went through was passed off like it never even happened. School, the teachers, and yes, the court. They all dismissed the reason he died. That's when Kiwana came in the picture, telling you Toshiro-kun had been bullied. But was it Kiwana's words that suddenly made you want to kill Mikoshiba? Because all of his fingers were broken while he was still alive. Was that really all just your pent-up rage? What do you have to say, Harasan? There shouldn't have been any evidence of Mikoshiba's bullying. Who told her the truth? I think Sawa Sensei is the only one, right? Was Sawa Sensei the one who told you the truth? She was the only person Toshiro kun confided in. You had to have heard it from her, right? Nearly hit the nail on the head, as they say. Nearly? After my trial, she confessed she knew about the bully. But only to her old teacher over the phone. She had no idea she was being recorded. What? Kuanasan let me listen to that recording where I learned Sawa Sensei had been muzzled by both the homeroom teacher and the lawyer. That was the proof of Toshiro's bullying I'd wanted all throughout the trial. After hearing Sawa Sensei's words, I finally understood. They pushed my boy over the edge. Was there no other evidence of the bullying? Like a diary of Toshiro-kun's, or something of the sort. Nothing. Toshiro never talked to me or my wife about the bullying. And that was... probably all my fault. He was bullied in middle school, too. Kids would throw his pencil case around, or... hide his books. When I heard about it, I chewed him out. They walk all over you because you're weak. Grow spine, I told him. I take it that was the wrong approach. Yeah. <sighs> I can't imagine how much courage it took for him to come forward about his suffering. I'm sure he felt ashamed about it. And I should have listened when he pleaded for help. I should have told him I was proud of his bravery. But instead, they pushed him away. And in the end, Toshiro tried to make sure he never showed weakness to us again. No matter how much pain he was in. He went to a private school out in Yokohama. Because he hated living. But in the end, he still suffered. And that's why you didn't hesitate to unleash hell on Mikoshima. If you say so. 
Hey Sam, how's everything? <laughs> so the first time Kiwana showed up was when he let you listen to the phone call with Sawa-sensei, right? Yes. He approached me and asked me if I still wanted justice for my son. I was in uniform when he came to me too. Very bold. But it paid off. I owe him a debt of gratitude. He reassured me he had already taken care of multiple individuals like Goshiba, and that he'd urged other families to avenge the children they lost to bullying. He'd tell them that simply being branded a bully wasn't enough. He promised to deliver real justice. If justice can be served at one's own discretion, laws would cease to serve their function. If the law isn't fair to everyone, no one will obey it. The law is only able to help the powerless because it can't be swayed by money, force, or anything else. Then tell me, what's the solution? when the law fails to punish someone who laughs in its face. To overlook those the law won't judge is to abandon those the law couldn't protect. To render justice with confidence, you require sufficient evidence. Some of the victims' families refused Kuana's offer of revenge, telling him it would be unforgivable. But even after rejecting his offer, not a one reported Kuanasan to the police. Do you understand what that implies? Whether you follow through with revenge or not, Kuanasan presents a solution that resonates with people. Being that the law is unfair and imperfect. Am I wrong about that? No, you're not. But we're fighting to make it as fair as we can. Laws have to change until they are perfect. They don't change fast enough. Toshiro's death was murder by another name. Yet, Hiromi Kushiba walked free. He even got to enroll in a teaching program as a student teacher. Someone like him? It's insane! I'd die of old age before the law was ever written to be fair enough. For Toshiro's sake, I can't turn a blind eye to a world where the Mikoshibas can live without consequence. Tell me, what alternative was there to getting blood on my hands? I didn't have any other choice! Yagami-san, did he just...? This is the first time you've admitted to killing Mikoshima. You really did your research, unlike those useless cops. Onasan's plan was impressive, almost airtight. I didn't expect it to be unraveled so quickly. I just got lucky. There was some dirt on Yui Mamiya that Kawana could have used against her. If we hadn't found it, there's no way we would have gotten her to talk. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, but I'm under no obligation to tell you. Ahara-san, you'll be sent to prison as a sex offender as it stands. Of course. Just as I planned. The charges will be confirmed, and I'll be convicted. As for the police and the prosecution, they wouldn't be able to admit they made a mistake. I could scream, I killed Mikoshiba at the top of my lungs. It wouldn't matter. Are you saying you intend to admit to the murder after you're released? Everyone's seen the video of me killing Mikoshiba by now. It's obviously authentic, but the prosecution and the police are saying it's fake. They need it to be fake. Even if I do confess, they'll sweep it under the rug. <sighs> they wouldn't. No, that's not beneath them. But I take it how they react doesn't really matter to you. All you want is to humiliate the law, don't you? The same system that determined Toshiro-kun's incident didn't happen. It 
seems you're starting to understand, Yagami-san. Harris achieved most of what he wanted to do, but I can't overlook what he's already done. The prosecution wanted to charge me for Mikushiba's murder. Then they'd have to retract the battery verdict. And that would mean admitting to a massive blunder by the court. At the hands of a criminal, it would be chaos. Despite knowing who murdered Mikushiba, no one would know what to make of the case. Wouldn't that just be wonderful? I hear you. And I even get why you'd feel pretty proud of accomplishing that. Do you? But in this case, the guys pretty much grabbed the tiger by the tail. What tiger's tail? Someone's issuing orders to the thugs in Kamurocho from behind the scenes. He's the tiger in this case. And they've been closing in on your partner, Kawana. And Sawa-sensei got in their path. I'm sure you get the newspaper in here, right? You know, don't you? Sawa-sensei was killed after the thugs broke into her home. All because she got involved with Kawana. Where she was killed. This is the first I'm hearing of the reason why. And by thugs, you mean R.K.? Yeah, but we don't know why they're going after Kawana. Any ideas? No way I'd know. You think it could be because she got mixed up in your deadly little game? Excuse me? That's what getting away with murder really looks like. The more you perpetuate the lie, the greater the rift you create. And then, the unthinkable happens. Hey, Noodle. Kawana killed others besides Mikushiba. You said so yourself. That's what brought the angry tiger into play. And if Sawa-sensei ended up paying for that instead, then how can you begin hey, to colorful raven, hey, Miku, uh, maiden, because she Kimiko, gave false testimony. <laughs> how's everyone? She lied in court to say Toshiro was never bullied. She couldn't name Mikoshiba, who was a minor at the time, without evidence. What's more, she was haunted by her testimony, always second-guessing if she did the right thing. But now she's been killed. Somehow that's acceptable to you. So we're doing a uh, lost judgment. We're on chapter ten, and uh, it, like he, we're doing a case where it's almost like a double jeopardy. Yeah, but I'm, I'm I'm trying to I want to try to finish this, but like either this week or next week, so I can start the new Final Fantasy game that came out uh, last week. So we're uh, right now we're in the detention center for him to. Uh, do a PO because his original charge was a uh, groping uh, conviction, but uh, that was fra uh, fabricated because he actually did a murder. Uh, uh, it was an alibi. Well, oh, that fabrication was an alibi for him not, not doing it, some murder. A nice. Also, uh, what, Mr. Dude is playing, uh, like, what, Judgment or Lost Judgment? Oh. Do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if you, if you saw the demo or not. But, like, yeah, the demo is pretty, uh, nice. <laughs> I, I know there's a lot, it's, uh, I think this is the first, uh, Final Fantasy game that was uh, as uh, M rated because of all the cursing and other stuff. Yeah, I haven't, uh, because the last one I played was the remake, but I haven't played for Final Fantasy. I haven't, besides the online ones, I haven't played, uh, uh, after the remake, I haven't played Stranger Paradise, which is like, uh, I think a Final Fantasy type remake. And also, I haven't played the new Crisis Core with Zack. But I, like I wanna you know get to it uh what once but like there's still like so many games that are coming out like this year and like you know last year, <laughs> and like and I feel like most of the games I like pick up like become like it just collects dust. <laughs> yeah, cause I think back on the PSP, I think I got to the very end, but I never beat the game because I know what I know what happens to him. <laughs> So it's, 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 I'm at the last part of four. Uh, 
Yep. Especially like RPGs and like like if besides if you're not doing RPGs and you're doing like competitive uh, FPS, like those are pretty uh tough too. Cause like you know you have to be constantly or like if you like miss a couple of days or so, like it might like uh like like different all these like different types of competitive games is like that's what it's like you miss a day it's like oh. Uh, <laughs> How how far did you uh how far you get in the game or did you beat the game? Let's see, did I I forgot if I did this or not? Yeah, for Tesla grad too. How far did you get? Did you? I wasn't sure if you beat the game or Why not. Why go that way when I can just go this way? Oh, there's probably a well. Yes, I'm guessing there's a collectible over there. Nobody did a Rick roll when I'm you were doing a boss fight. <laughs> I realized it was going down. And now I'm sad. <laughs> how, far, how far is Mr. Noodle in Final Fantasy? As you like playing, like I know like a lot of my friends are playing like non-stop. But uh, last year... <laughs> Cause I'm not, I'm not sure if he's playing other games. Cause I know you didn't tell me he also plays uh, Honkai. Yeah. For me, like that Rick Roll thing, I didn't realize it was gonna interfere on your uh, on your side too. I thought it was just like a overlay, but it, what it actually blocks your view. I know, I know the new banner uh, for uh, Lucha is coming out in what two or three days. Was is it like? Because I know for like uh, Dixper, they have like that type of uh, thing where like, you know it blocks your screen or inverts your screen. But like, is that like is that like something like different? Oh, I think you were talking. Wait. Yeah, but I wasn't sure if you were talking about that or if I just heard about that stuff from somebody else before. Uh. Or unless it was like one of your TikToks, I'm not sure. So, but then it has like what different settings for like different things you can add to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I might look up some of those videos and try to see if I could, uh, and uh, add some stuff to <laughs> to my channel. See how it goes. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I guess I guess I guess I'll look into it and see what uh, other different other type of features it could uh, do. I think it would be funny if, like, if, if it was, like, uh, you know how, like, some of your uh, stuff are, like, connected, like, like a smart, uh, smart device? <laughs> like, it would be funny if you, like, set your thing where it, like, turns off, off your lights at your home. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 Final Fantasy 6 is only for PlayStation 5, I think. I'm not sure, it might be also for 4, I'm not positive. But it's only, uh, it's a uh, Sony PlayStation, uh, exclusive. I think the other. Oh, we didn't realize what. 
I should do it. I should uh, try to make a screen for just uh, like you know, a chatting thing where I like you know, uh, like when I'm doing like, talking like this. So like or like introduce the Raiders. <laughs> Oh, yeah, um, it might come out for like, you know, the other systems later on, but right now it's for PlayStation only, I think. I think, right? Let me just, I, yeah, I think so. Wait. Yeah, so it's a six month exclusive right now for PlayStation 5. Oh, yeah, besides the uh, Final Fantasy, besides the Pixel uh, from, you know, old PlayStation 1, they did, uh, th like, you know, a three, a 3D wise. <laughs> well, but the only problem is for Final Fantasy, right now when they came out with the. Remake, which is up to, <clears throat> I'm not sure uh, where, but like there's a trailer for the next uh, Final Fantasy remake, which uh, let's see, because I know if, uh, for the first one it limits your characters, so you can only use Barrett, Aris, Tifa, and Cloud. Uh, you were able to do, like you know a side like. Uh, uh, Red the uh, thirteen was also in it, but uh, you couldn't play with him much. And the uh, the DLC for uh, remake had the Yuffie story. Oh yeah, Tactics Advance was pretty interesting. I'm not sure if they, I don't think they did remake that. <laughs> and I think the, uh, I'm not sure if you saw the PlayStation. Uh, uh, showcase, but uh, it had the new trailer for uh, the remake, which had a. Uh, I'm not sure, but we're ho I'm hoping it has a Golden Saucer arcade in it, the Chocobo Racing. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I think the only reason I like that one because you can level up your characters and uh, upgrade. I have like something similar, but I haven't started it yet. Uh, Tactic Ogres or something like that. All right, let's I'm continue clear on. Up what happened to so, are you back or now? I had a for some reason the OBS like froze too. So I think we're back, but uh, I'm, not <laughs> I'm not sure what's what uh, will happen. So So it's a chop. Wait, this is not live anymore, or. Let me check my mobile. I'm not sure if it's back up or not. Should be back up. Am I back? Are uh, you hear me talking? Alright. Do what you want. Just know this. Yes? I have no intention of admitting to killing Mikoshiba in court. Is your appeal still worth a damn? We won't know till we try. Let's go, Sarisan. We have client approval to proceed with the appeal. And we better act fast. Yes, agreed. Yagami-san. Sawa-sensei's death isn't on me. Even if I have grabbed the tiger by the tail, that doesn't mean I killed her. 
By that logic, you may as well admit that Miko Shiba did kill Toshiro-kun. You can't have it both ways. Listen to me. Everything about you, about Kawana, about why Sawa-sensei had to die, we're gonna expose all of it. That's the only thing left we can do for her. And uh, I can say, is that the end of chapter 10? <laughs> I'm going to fill Genda Sensei in on what happened. Why don't you head over to the office? Sure thing. Okay, isn't this the office? <laughs> so then. Ihara admitted to killing Mikashiba, did he? Off the record, yeah. He also admitted Kawana approached him to offer revenge. That sounds like you were productive. It's enough for us to move forward with the appeal, I'd say. How does that sound, Genda-sensei? Uh, Genda-sensei? The sexual battery and Mikashiba's murder are the very same case. To clear Ihara of harassment, You'll need to prove he murdered Mikashiba. But you don't have evidence he did, do you? Ehara-san was captured on video committing the murder. And the prosecution claims it's a fake, of unknown origins. The police are saying the same. They're only saying that to cover their asses. In reality, the sexual battery evidence against Ehara-san is what was really fake. At the very least, we can claim Yui Mamiya and the others aided in fabricating that, alibi or not. You really think the courts will grant you an appeal for just that? Are you saying that's not possible? I wouldn't go that far. But Ehara won't admit to murdering Mikashiba in court. Kind of significant, don't you think? So what chance do you have even if you do appeal? Without any decisive new evidence, you'll just end up splitting hairs over the original verdict. And what good'll it do other than damage your own reputation, Sarukun? So Gengasan is worried about Sarukun's career. I'm sure that's the case. Although To be honest with you, I feel like I've been deeply underestimated. What? Sauri san, are you actually mad? Yes. As a matter of fact, I am. You have every right to be. Listen, Sensei. Ehara and Kawana devised this plan knowing full well they could manipulate the justice system. Have we not fallen right into their trap? If we take pity on the prosecution now, we play right into their hand. True. So how can we worry about reputation when our duty as lawyers is to face the law? I understand where you're coming from, and you're right to think it, but... And another thing. While acting as Ahara's defense in the first trial, I never truly believed the claim. I didn't trust the person I was defending, and I felt sick to my stomach even being in the courtroom. Sorry, son. Hara likely saw right through that. He probably took great delight in our myopic dedication to the law. And I won't stand for that. I'm gonna show him exactly what I can do. Hmm, what about you, Yagami? I wanna hear your thoughts. <clears throat> but the uh, thing about that uh, is, uh... Is uh you know the sexual harassment case? It uh took it was uh, 13, it happened thirteen minutes after the murder. So so it's like saying like oh. Okay. But isn't there a thing called like double jeopardy?
but uh, the the law, the other the prosecutors and the cops are saying that you know even though they have evidence, they're saying that, that it's uh, the video is fake. So right now they don't have any evidence. What what's what's the what's evidence? <laughs> but if she admits it, uh, it just saying it there. Uh, isn't that gonna contradict the uh, jury and the uh, the law saying like you know? Because that's the reason why they're they're saying the uh, actual evidence they have is fake. Because they don't want. Uh, they don't want, you know, the, I guess the prosecutor and the law doesn't want to be wrong. <coughs> yeah. We should listen to Sarisan. We should listen to Sarisan. I understand why Ahara and Kawana did what they did. I can't condone it. I see. So you feel it too, huh? Yes. Although my motivation may not be as righteous as Sarisan's. Hmm. What do you mean? Mikoshiba's murder, the fake groping alibi. The one behind it all was Kawana, and he's in hiding. We need to shine enough light on him that the public can see what he is. And the perfect place to do it is during Ahara's appeal hearing. So it's not Ahara you're after, but Kawana. If we pursue Ahara's case, Kuwana-san's actions will naturally come to light. And if we draw out Kuwana, then RK and the ones backing them will make their move. Soma from RK said Sawa Sensei knew too much. Which means whoever's behind them has a secret that needs to stay buried, even if it means murder. And I need to figure that secret out. I owe Sawa Sensei that closure. The only thing we can do for her now is make sure the ones pulling the strings pay for it. Well said. I guess going back wasn't ever really an option. Genda Sensei. Looks like I got complacent from all the peace and quiet. Leave it to me to underestimate the younger generation. I apologize. I shouldn't have been so impertinent. Mm, that should be my line, Saurikun. I suppose I have to make up my mind after all that, don't I? Get out there and do what needs to be done. And heaven help anyone in your way. Yeah. Right. Yep. You heard him. Phone call. Two good morning calling. Hope everything's okay. Hello? Yagamishi, are you still in Kamurocho? Yeah, why? What's up? I'm afraid RK seems to be amassing any gene show. Very bizarre. Are they now? Yeah, I can't shake the feeling that the officers like Soma and Akutsu are still in town. You think so? If I was Soma, I'd have left Ijinsho by now. He's a person of interest in Sawa Sensei's murder, too. I see. That does make sense. Things are settling into place here, though. I'm heading back to Ijinsho with Sugiura. We got a lot to go over with you when I get back. <laughs> Wonder what it could be. Okay, see you soon then. Yeah, right. let's go. Where are you heading to? Alright, I guess we'll just uh, walk straight to the. I should have just let the <laughs> I killed everybody else, but then the guy. Oh. Alright, we're, we're probably gonna play it till the ch end of chapter ten.
Yokohama Section 99. Well, now that's something. Looks like we're finally starting to see the whole picture. Kuwana-san, or rather Kitakata-sensei, huh? And his students helped Ihara murder Mikoshiba. But there's still some things that doesn't explain. Like what? Like why does RK keep going after Kuwana-san? You think that's weird too, right, Yagami-san? Yeah. That's the piece of the puzzle that'll lead us to why Sawa sensei got killed. Why is RK after Kawana? How much do they know about him? Before they came to Ijinshu, RK was originally looking for Shinya Kawai. But when they found out he might have been killed, they suddenly shifted gears to Kawana. So what are they trying to accomplish? We can guess all we want, but that's not going to get us anywhere. Shouldn't we ask someone in RK directly? They're strengthening their numbers in Ijinsho as we speak. The coons at the bottom rung aren't going to be in the know on that, though. Though if Akatsu or Soma were around, then we might get somewhere. That's true. Sitting around here won't get us any further. I'm going to head into the city for a bit. I'm quick on my feet. That's about all I have going for me right now. How modest of you. Yeah, don't say that, Yagamishi. Otherwise, what ground do we have to stand on? I should head outside for now. So, these are the quests that we have in uh, Yokohama 99. We also have the dog mission right outside here. To our, our little puppy. The dog is actually the the owner is the uh, Amawatsa, which is the student that we're the counselors of for the Mystery Research Club. Oh, we got a new message. Oh, Amawatsawa. How's the investigation going along, Yagmi-san? If you're ever stuck, try using the school diary to review the situation. Our nemesis, the professor, must be stopped. He snakes his way into the hearts of innocent young schoolers, turning into delinquents one by one. Remember, a truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur. Yes, I remember. See, I guess we'll check the school diary. What we're supposed to do? I guess that's not helpful. Right, let's increase our attack. Where are we supposed to head to? Where's the? Did I miss something? Am I supposed to go back to my my hometown? Let's see if they pass it back. Wait, Tass. Here, right, look around town. I should tell you so. Oh! Got a phone call. Hello? It's Shirosaki. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Yeah, what's up? I was thinking back on our interview with Yahara-san, and something he said isn't sitting right with me. So I wanted to ask your opinion. Which part? Marley, how's everything? The part about Kuwana approaching other bullying victims besides Yahara-san to offer revenge. Yahara-san also mentioned that most of them rejected his offer, but never Thanks for 100 biddies. 
How's your yeah. day? And? Well, wasn't the first bully Kiwana killed his own student? Shinya Kawai, I mean. Tormented by his bullies, Mitsuru Kusumoto's leap left him in a coma to this day. That event was the catalyst for Kawana's actions. So wouldn't he have approached his parents about revenge, too? I'm doing Mitsuru pretty good. Mitsuru Kusumoto's parents? You're talking about his mother, I had stream disconnect earlier, so we're back. So the first victim from 13 years ago was, uh, I think you, uh, so this is the mother right now. She's the uh, uh, vice minister for the Minister of Health. Yes, who is currently vice minister of the Ministry of Health. If she accepted or is even an accessory to a revenge plot against Kawhi, then there's no way she'd ever want that secret to get out. With her level of influence and power, wouldn't it be possible that she ordered RK to silence Kawana? Which would explain how RK's actions are being controlled, wouldn't it? And you think it's Reiko Kusumoto? <laughs> you don't think vice ministers can control criminal organizations <laughs> from the shadows? You know very well the answer to that. Yeah. Tsukumo's actually looked into her before. I'll talk to him about it right now. Yeah, this is genius, Sari-san. This could lead us right to who's controlling RK. Quite a compliment coming from you. I feel better already. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I'll call you if I find anything out. Alright. Back to... Oh, so I didn't have to travel that far. We're, we're, uh, we're gonna buy here. Irashimase. Buy two of each. Yep. That's how important we are. <laughs> well, man, I did get run over a couple of times when I was on the skateboard. Yagami-san, back already? Haha, <laughs> that was quick. I figured you'd be out in the town until evening. Well, the day's not over yet. I need you to look into Reiko Kusumoto again. She might be the one behind RK. Really? Yeah. Can you pull up the yeah, picture of her you showed are me last time? RK. Okay, take a look at this, Yagamishi. Reiko Kusumoto became vice minister just recently. It hasn't even been a full year yet. Looks like she's still got a good rep. Yeah, there's almost no criticism of her out there. The ministry revolution, bucking the bureaucracy. Golden parachutes don't fly with Kusumoto. <laughs> Go her. Vice minister is pretty high up there, yeah? Big time. If she really did take Kawana up on his offer, silencing him would be the quickest way to save her skin. And in that case, she'd need some kind of connection to RK. Some kind of connection? A bit vague, no? Fair enough, but RK already took an innocent life while hunting Kawana down. Right. And after killing Sawa-sensei, they tried to kill me, too. Still, no matter how dangerous the gang, murder is a risky proposition. Then again, if someone's pulling the strings, they have a lot less to worry about. Especially if that someone has vice minister status. Well, the internet's not gonna give us much else. How about we do our usual thing? Go straight to the source. Maybe we should. Would it really be that easy to get a meeting with someone like her? Mitsuru Kusumoto's still in a coma, right? Yes. If he's in a hospital, we can catch her by surprise there. I get ya. That might work. Huh. What's this now? What's what now? Breaking news from the net. It says manhunt for Sawa-sensei's murderer. And? It's hitting the network news, too. 
The person they're after is... Wanted for the murder of private school teacher Yoko Sawa in her own apartment, Kanagawa PD is conducting a search for the suspect, self-proclaimed handyman Yu Kitakata. Nearby Why are they looking for Kuwana? Shouldn't they be after Soma? Sawa-san's former teacher before and after the incident. It's also surfaced that he's been using a false identity for over a decade. The police are hopeful that their search will turn up some sort of connection to Sawa-san. Why are the police going after Kuwana and not Soma? What the? Hmm. If Kuwana-san was caught on camera, then surely some RK thugs were as well? Yeah, I think so. On that note, I should have been in the footage too. The police only seem to want Kuwana, but why? Guess we'll have to ask them ourselves. Ask who? Detective Watanabe from Kanagawa PD. He was the guy in charge of Mikoshiba's murder. Been a while, hotshot. Yeah, I guess it has. Hey, I'm curious. Do you have any evidence that Kuwana killed Sawa-sensei? I take it you saw the news. Kuwana was caught on camera near the crime scene, plus he knew the victim. And if that's not enough, he was using a fake name. How's that for evidence? But I saw Soma holding an ice pickup to Sawa Sensei. Plus, there were RK footprints all over the scene. So why is Kuwana the only suspect? Because the big boys with big balls at HQ said so. <laughs> Barking at me won't get you anywhere. So this is all just pressure from upstairs? What is going on here? Why are you so bent out of shape? Kuwana's a legitimate suspect, and all we're doing is following procedure. So stick your private investigator schnoz somewhere else. You know, you sound pretty bent out of shape yourself. Where are you right now? Uh huh? I was thinking maybe we could meet up. How's a free pass to bitch about your work sound? How they sound? <laughs> On the phone, in person, there's nothing I can tell you. <sighs> he hung up. Yagamishi, I managed to focus in on the background noise from your phone call. Despite all the interference, I have a good idea of Nabe-san's location. What? Seriously? He's on the main drag in Chinatown. If you go now, I'm sure you'll find him. But is he even gonna listen to you? It won't matter if I miss him because we sat here wondering. <laughs> Yagami Detective Agency. Quick on its feet indeed. <laughs> Can't compete with that. Nabe should be on the main street of Chinatown. We need to catch him and find out what's going on. Uh, here we go, Chinatown, we can, here we come. There's a lot of activities over there. Alright. Chinatown, taxi to Chinatown. Let's take one further away. So you all wait. Are those people. Wait, are those boss people? Yagami, why are you here? Oh, hey, Nabe-san. And you were. It's Sakurai. Oh, right. <laughs> I take it you didn't just happen to be in the neighborhood. Let's just say some friends of mine have a real keen sense of smell. Something stinks about the cops here. Excuse me, pal? The Sawa case. Why aren't you going after RK? Or are you and you're just keeping me in the dark? <sighs> this isn't the place to talk about that. What the? Hey! I get the feeling something's keeping you guys from doing your jobs. And I don't have to listen to you. You want to say that again? Sakurai, I gotta hit the camp. Head back to the station. Huh? Need to take a piss, Yagami? You're looking hydrated. <laughs> yeah. Good call. Then let's. Damn. What's he up to? <laughs> Now 
Nice spot you brought me to. Very romantic. <laughs> ah. Well, we're about to have a shitty conversation. Might as well do it with a pleasant view. Do the cops really believe Kiwana is responsible for Sawa Sensei's death? We wouldn't be looking for him if we weren't serious. We even have a warrant. To arrest Kiwana? His real name's Yu Kitikata. He's been using a fake. And he services right at the murder scene of his former student. In my eyes, he was suspicious enough. What about Soma from RK? He should have been spotted on the nearby cameras, too. Like when he entered her apartment. He wasn't. <laughs> How is that possible? Let me rephrase. There's no footage that had RK anywhere near it. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> From the moment Mikoshiba's murder went down, the higher-ups had been busy playing politics. I had a handle on things, but just competing with Tokyo PD over who got to really hard up. But after that murder footage came out, it really stirred shit up. Sawa Sensei's case has me scratching my head too. Someone at the top was trying to keep details under wraps. And they think it'll work even in this day and age. You're saying the whole force is in on a cover-up? It started with the footage surrounding Sawa's apartment. Someone on the inside erased it. Any footage that had the RK guys tagged in it is totally wiped. Raise the footage. Are you serious? Yeah. You heard me. Kawana leaving her place is all that's left. Even the parts where you show up are long gone. Before and after, the only person that the cameras pin the crime on is Kawana himself. Who would go so far to erase the footage? Who would do something like that? It's time to let it go, Yagami. Mikoshiba's case and Sawa Sensei's case. They're closing the book. And to tie up the loose ends, and this is the shitty part. Kuwana has to die in an accident. What? As soon as they track him down, they'll put him into custody and then blame it on negligence. They'll say he resisted arrest and died in the struggle, I guess. Someone clearly wants Kuwana gone. And they have the power to do it. Come on. Who could have that power? Kuwana is clearly a target of someone higher up. Even if he sees it coming, he won't be able to stop it. As far as I'm concerned, the case is closed. You wouldn't understand until you've been on the force. When the team you're playing for is rotten to the core, all you can do is look the other way. As for me, I'll stick to the cut and dry cases for a while. That's what will keep me an honest cop. That's bullshit! <laughs> You'll shut the lid on the trash, ignore the smell of the rot coming from inside and go on pretending it's justice? And then you call that being an honest cop? <sighs> Asshole. Did you forget that you were talking to a detective? <laughs> you never did answer the question, now, my son. <laughs> Who had the authority to erase the security cameras? Who wants Kawana dead so bad that they do it inside? Even if I told you, what the fuck could you do about it, detective? Smartass! Yeah. Leave it alone, him. Yagami! It's for your own good! Is that your call? Well... I think I'll be the judge of that. <sighs> you little piece of shit! I've had enough! <laughs> dead son of a bitch! Do we have enough food and stuff? Oh, I'm almost down. Where's my... Uh, where's my food? Where's my sushi stuff? Sushi shit. Snake style! What's the piece? Oh, what the? That's tough! 
<laughs> what? I didn't think that was gonna happen. They tracked me in the water. Dead son of a bitch! <laughs> Is a DDT? Alright, get some more food in. Soup. Alright, we gotta heal up again. More sushi. What, Jack Daniels? Snake style. Wait, that's more snake style. Dodge it, dodge it. Oh. We're dodging and beating. Come on, dodge more. Can't, can't touch this. Good block. Oh, we got hit. Oh, heal up, heal up. <laughs> we almost got taken down. Uh, I guess we'll just stack up some more uh, food after. Got him! Finisher! Alright, that's the that skill I picked up because I know I kept on getting knocked down. So, so you know, if they if I do get hit knocked down, I can do a death special right after I get hit. I wonder if his partner's gonna show up. They broke the lock and forced their way into Sawa Sensei's place. That's when Soma came in. I'm sure she was terrified. They were pointing an ice pick at her. When I found her, her eyes were still open. And I could see the tears. Yet the police are going after Kuwana instead of Soma. And the cops that were there know he isn't a suspect, but say their hands are tied. So it'll be my voice you hear instead of hers. And when they come to silence me, I'll know who the puppet masters are. <laughs> uh, I hear you. And you're probably right. And if you have any idea who might be pulling the strings, I need you to tell me before it's too late. Is there anyone on the force who would want Kuwana dead? The moment we opened Sawa Sensei's case, the Kanagawa brass had a suspect file ready to go. And they didn't point to your guy Soma. They named you Kitakata, alias Kuwana the Handyman. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? We were the first to the scene, which means the bigwigs pulled a suspect file before it even happened. Where'd the info about Kitakata come from? Not sure. 
but the National Police Agency said it came from public security. Public security? Wait, is that the Ministry of Health? The public security branch of the police is practically Japan's spy ring. It keeps an eye on foreign agents, gangs, and political groups. They don't hunt criminals so much as gather intel and analyze it to maintain the peace. Why is public security involved in Sawa Sensei's case? Seems they were interested in Arcade's criminal network in Kamurocho. You know how after the Tojo clan disbanded, the criminals started going underground? Well, public security would rather let RK roam free than bust them. Monitoring them quietly gives them intel on criminal movements. And even if you catch these guys, no one will just take their place. Wait, so they want RK on the streets? Is that why they're brushing Sawa Sensei's case under the rug? If RK goes down in one fell swoop over a murder case, then they have to find a new source of intel. Purely speaking from public security's point of view, that is. Unbelievable. Not that they'd ever say that out in, well, public. If you believe public security, there's no way RK killed Sawa Sensei. What the hell? Do they even have a reason? Not that I'm aware of. On top of that, I asked Tokyo PD about Soma, but he doesn't have a record. No priors, no census registry, not even a damn profile pic. Then, what does that mean? The man known as Kazuki Soma doesn't exist, basically. Maybe that's how it's always been. Maybe it's a cover-up. They had plenty of files on Kuwana to send our way instead. They're the ones who made him the prime suspect in Sawa Sensei's case, too. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Kuwana's a scapegoat for RK. Public security wants to shut the curtains on Sawa Sensei's case with him. As far as they're concerned, with Kuwana silenced, it'll all balance out. So that's what you meant by Kuwana having an accident. Right. Better to flush your shit than keep a lid on it. <laughs> I can't imagine it's easy for public security to pin the blame on Kuwana for Sawa Sensei's murder. But then again, dead men don't talk. If they get rid of Kuwana, that'll be enough to muddle the waters. So who's running the show in public security? Do they have a name? I wasn't told, unfortunately. I'm afraid I'm further down the food chain than you thought. <coughs> yeah, Watanabe speaking. Huh? Gene Show? Huh? Right. Got it. Call me if anything else comes up. Kwan has been spotted. A witness reported seeing him in Jincho. Seriously? He's back here? Couldn't say for sure. Where's he at? Fukutokucho, in Koreatown, where the Komi Jewel hang out. The police are headed there now. Komi Jewel? Apparently it means spider web in Korean. You haven't seen it? It's made to look like it's abandoned. And Kwan is there? You're not going to say you got that from me, right? <laughs> I don't know much time. You said Kawana might have an accident, didn't you? I'm sure that's why you're telling me all this. If you find him, let him know it's public security that's after him. And they mean business. Alright, I guess we're finding him? Or is that the end of chapter 10? Alright. Also, that's why, because it's so close to the Yagami, scene. It's me. I have an update for you. It seems Kawana has been spotted in Ichincho. Yeah, in Komijul, right? I'm headed there now. Ah, fastidious as ever. But the police have already started blocking off Komijul. Already? They're probably going to surround the area and gradually close in on Kawana-san. What's your plan, Yagamishi? Public security is probably behind that. And according to Nabe-san, once they capture Kawana, they'll end up in an accident. An accident? Long story short, I need to find Kawana before the cops do. Can you navigate me to him? I most certainly can. For now, just keep heading toward Komijul. In the meantime, I'll be monitoring the surrounding area. Oh, and I'll dispatch Sugiurashi. Appreciate that, Tsukumo. Oh yeah, I was about to go to the shop. This is Tsukumo. Yagami Sheep, please come in. 
Hey, I think I'm in front of Komijo. Indeed you are. <laughs> I can see you from the drone. Then you'll notice the cops block the road. Any way I can get in there? Not to worry. I've already looked into an infiltration route. All right, let's go. Way to go. So, what should I do? What car? Can you see car? the white car that's parked in front of the barricade? We're climbing it? Yeah, I can. There's a really small gap on the side of the car. You should be able to fit through it. It'll be a tight squeeze, I'm sure. But I have no doubt in your agility, Yagamishi. Yeah, but what happens if I get spotted? You can leave that part to me. Nice, now's my chance. I guess I can't go to the store quick. Then the store's close by. Can I, can I... Well, if, can I even go there or is it not gonna let me? Don't tell me it's blocked off. Oh, they blocked me, they locked me up. Okay, we got dragon type in the chat. My god. Little plate. <laughs> That's how we sneak again. Coin. Wait. Should I go from here? Komi Jewel proper seems to be located behind those construction fences. There's one door in the fence, so that's your best bet. I'll try this one more time. No, no. Get out of this. I'm supposed to check this thing out. Oh. Tsukumo, can I get a hand? Just leave it to me. Nice distraction. Go in. What are you doing waiting out there? Don't tell me I have to lockpick it. Tsukumo, keep navigating for me. And let me know as soon as you find Kawana. Weird. Hello. Oh, is it jammers? Great technical difficulties. Now, guess I'll just make my way up on my own. So I guess we're climbing the stairs, but I want to check if there's anything useful over here. Dead end. Okay.
any nope, no, no useful items on them. Is that one? Okay, I guess it is. Is it more sneaking missions? Kitakata Sensei! Show yourself! Come on! Get your ass out here! Relax with the yelling, will you? You're giving away our location. How am I supposed to relax? This shit's intense! You're okay? Sugiura? Didn't Tsukumokun tell you I was on my way? Yeah, suppose he did. Yagami-san, all these guys are RK. Does that mean RK beat the police to Kawana? No, not exactly. I just saw some cops let RK guys through. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean, that'd be crazy, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, not really. That was no mistake. Some cops are working with RK. But why? Someone in authority on the force is trying to get rid of Kawana, so they want him to have an accident. What? That's off the scale insane. Insane or not, I need to get to Kawana before RK or the cops do. You know where he is? I don't. Come to think of it, why would Kawana-san come to Komicho? Does he know someone here? Good question. Let's just focus on reaching the top of this place for now. Aren't there people from Komichu here? It can't be all RK. Maybe we can ask them where Kawana is. Eh, worth a shot. As long as we don't give ourselves away. So like what you said, Abash, like for re some reason, uh, this this chapter is pretty long. It's, it's longer than the other ones that like, I finished like, I think I finished like four, wait, six, seven, eight, nine, in like, what, six hours. <laughs> I'm not sure uh, how many hours I was before I got disconnected. I'm not sure if it was like at the two-hour mark. I guess we're sneaking past. Looks like a lot of RK muscle to me, Yagami-san. Yeah, but if that many are out searching, the silver lining is that they don't have a lead on Kawana. True. We'll just have to stay one step ahead of them then. I don't see anywhere else we can go, so let's go up those stairs. All right. Well, we could actually run now. Wait, 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 what? Wait, how do you get stuff fast? Wasn't he down the stairs before? Alright, so I guess we'll keep on climbing. Looks like this is the highest we can go. Yagami-san, we've got our cake coming in from below too. Let's find another route on this floor. Can we open any doors? Hey, what's this? Hmm. I can get on here, but I can't go up. Make a bridge? Oh, but I should be able to jump over to that side. Let's see how I can get past here. Maybe if I can get higher, I can go this way. Alright, investigation completed. Yeah, we should be able to get up from here. He's a show off. Damn. Wish I was. Right 
taking the same route as Sarah Girl. It's gonna be tough. I have to make my way up somehow. Let's go the other way. Wait, is there anything on this side? Oh, let's go over here. Let's grab the thing that's on the floor. Is there something rare? Ooh, motivation shirt. Okay, let's see. Can we uh, any gear we can put on? So defense increase. Okay, what's this? Do stun. Mm. I think that's that's still better. Attack. Okay, I think I think we have better items already. We're climbing this pipe. No, we can't climb it. We missed this thing. Dented carbon. So can I climb this? Nope. Jump over, and we missed. Gotta do that over again. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> How far? All right, I, I didn't know we could uh, actually fall off the building. How am I supposed to jump over across? Can we try it? I can't make it! Ah! Oh! <sighs> well, how many attempts? Is it hopefully this. I wonder how many attempts we're gonna do on this thing. Top in chat. All right, come on, make it over. Stay, stay, stay. All right, where are we? Where are we? Was it four attempts or five? <laughs> Good work, Yagami-san. Yo, you guys are Komi Jewel, aren't you? Huh? Komi Jewel? Us? What's going on here, man? This place is empty. Lead the way, would you? Yagami-san, they seem like RK. I'd rather not have to bullshit them. So, take them down? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Takes out three. 
Wait, the one or two? Wait, three. Got yeah, three. Still standing. Got him again. Maybe we have enough for one more uh, action skill. We. Yagami-san, looks like the top floor is up ahead. There's a room on this side too, though. Might be worth checking out. So which room are we taking first? Oh, item. Oh. Oh, a safe spot. Might as well see. What is this the other? <laughs> Alright, so this was a safe section. And right now we're on the, uh, we're looking for Kawana. I said that he was spotted in this area. Let's see. Alright, take care, have a good rest. Thank you for the raid again, Lunar Blue Rose. I wish we'd had some sign of Kiwana Sun, but maybe we'll still get lucky. Are you ready Hopefully to go? Hopefully we're here to end too. Well, I can't buy anything, so let's go. Yeah, let's go. So many cutscenes in this Where one. Where's this fucking guy? This shit's taking forever. Yeah, it's not like anyone else is here. You think the cops got it wrong? Then what do we do? Keep looking? Is there a fucking point? It seems like Kawanasan's giving them a slip. What's the plan now? Let's find out what RK's gonna do when they catch Kiwana. Are they planning to kill him themselves? What, you gonna just stroll up and ask him? Well, I only count four of them. So, two each. Piece <laughs> of cake. I guess. Okay, let's go. Hello, gentlemen. Got a couple questions for you. Huh? Who the hell are you two? You with the Komi Jewel? Wow. They don't even recognize you, Yagami-san? Well, that's kind of sad. What's going on here? There's more? Huh? Uh, Yagami-san? I don't think it's just too weak <laughs> anymore. Yagami? Hey! That's the detective from Komurucho! A detective? Just get him! They're with Kitakata! Fuck yeah! Let's get it started! Hope you're ready to die! <laughs> I've been waiting for this shit. <laughs> Come on. Ah, style. Let's go. Ah. Super move. Come on. Bring it away. Got him. Got three. It's almost like an AoE attack, but I'm not going to get us through anything. Who wants some? Alright, heal up, heal up. Go! 
Run away! Ooh, we countered that one, did we or no? Oh! We almost got killed that one. I'm doing some sake. Double team move! Watch out for those gun users. We will heal up just in case. <laughs> Got him. The ghost type in chat. You got? I thought there were more of you guys. Let's not jinx it, man. <laughs> you guys came looking for Kuana, right? What were you gonna do to him? We were just told to catch him. Uh, not sure what comes after that. You sure the plan wasn't to kill him? I said I don't know. Who gave the order here? Soma? It was Akusa's son. Probably on Soma-san's orders, though. Hey, uh, Yagami-san? Hey, how come Ijincho has so many creepy masks? <laughs> I was just gonna ask you. Kuana's not here. Huh? That intel was fake. We were the ones who put it out. You live here? Then you must be Komicho. Normally, it's us hiring the handyman. But this time, it was Kuana asking the favor. Huh? To put out false information? Yes. He said he wanted to see what kind of enemy he was dealing with, and how they'd respond to an eyewitness report. Seeing as how easy police info made its way to these thugs, I'd say he was wise to use caution. Were he any closer, he would have been ensnared by now. So Kawana's nearby, watching everything unfold as we speak? He's really in a Jinsho then? We'll have to clear the room to discuss that. Hey! Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> as you said, Kawana's returned to a Jinsho. There are benefits to being here that only he can exploit. Where's he hiding out? Under the protection of Tesso from the Yokohama Leomon. But you're cleared to see him. We already took care of that. Kawana actually said he'd meet us? Hmm. Come on. There's a way through the cops don't know. You can get out to the city from there. <laughs> That'd be helpful, thanks. Guess you're not so bad after all. Bear in mind. You may not leave alive if you come back. You were never welcome here. And never mind. <laughs> so, where do we find Kuwana-san? I'm sure the Liuma will lead us to him. Just so happens I've got a brother there named Tesso. A what? Now let's get there before Kuwana changes his mind. How far with you? Not that far. Wait, no, no skateboard. Oh, forgot. 
I drank a sake before on um, this thing, and I guess he's he's not running straight. Shops close by. Before we get that, let's go to the station. For real? We need to stack up on our food. Welcome back, Sam. Or Sam's brother. What's left? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you guys shooting? I, I, I need to heal up first before we can deal with the gun users. Really, guys? Alright, see what we can buy. Got this. Six of those, we get six of these. Okay, there's my box lunch set, sushi set, bento. Alright, let's see what we Golden guy, but I'm not sure if I'm uh, able to survive it. Oh, we gotta check. Uh, let's see, level up our skills. Thirty-nine. All right, we're almost close there. The golden guy. I, at least we can get money from him. I assume we don't get killed. Oh, we we'll have to heal up first. I didn't realize because he has a chance of knocking me out. Let's go. 
What the? I'm not taking a lot off. What the? What the? Yep, guess what to go to back to the battle shop. Let's go. See how much? Uh, really, guys? See, we, how close are we to forty k? No, I'm not close. I don't know. Seven. We're gonna get seven each. Alright, I think we're good. Get some food at the restaurant over here. Wait, I was okay. I thought I had lower health than that. Where's the show burger? Star, pretty tasty. Thanks. So, you're Yagami Yanaki? Tessa-san told me to let you in. Uh, Yagami Yanaki? <laughs> Will you be coming inside? Damn, this Kuro went back there. Maybe I should prep before going in. Sure, let me pass. Where, where sure, you let me to? pass. This way, please. So, Aniki, do I have to call you that? <laughs> Take a seat. 
And you too, buddy. This will be fun. And which of your names should we be using for you now? Kiwana? Or do you prefer Kitakata Sensei? Kitakata is a name that's been all but murdered by society. Any Jincho? I'm just a merry old handyman Kuana son. If you ask the cops, you're the murder suspect Kitakata. After killing Sawa Sensei, you fled the scene. At least, that's the story the police top brass are passing down through the ranks. Now, why would they say something like that about you? Calm down, Yagami. How come you never relax? <laughs> so Kawana hired you guys from the start, and you pretended to not know each other in front of me? If that's the case, you really went all out for me. Didn't I tell you? The Liumang accepts anonymous requests, too. Tesso didn't know I was the one who hired him. I suppose there's no point in hiding that now. That's just how it is. Nothing to get mad over, bro. You really aren't hiding anything? Did you tell him all you've done? He's a former high school teacher who's going around killing bullies. <laughs> Can't be much more to hide than that. Can you be more convincing? Honestly, I'm at a loss. I worked my ass off to get where you are. And I'm still trying to untangle the mess you've made of it. You've got my student helpers by the throats. So I'm really backed into a corner here. You mean the graduates from Kurokawa Academy? Like Mamiya-san? Very good, Sugiira-kun. So how about it? No reason for us to doubt each other's intentions, right? All the secrets are out in the open now. Fine. Then I'm gonna light up. You were just over at Komi Jewel, weren't you? RK was looking for me there. The police even lent them a hand. Yeah. Well, now I'm even more confused. I give up. Who in the world could be after me? Who has influence over both RK and the police? Care to venture a guess? They'd be the uneducated guesses of a handyman. You got any bright ideas yourself, Master Detective? I haven't confirmed it for sure yet, but I have a pretty good theory for you. Oh? Who? I just heard this from Detective Wannabe. The one looking for Colonel R. Well, I'll, uh, I was gonna say uh, this one, but from the detective, is that they told me it's public security. The public security division. That's what a detective from Kanagawa PD said. According to them, you're the prime suspect in Sawa Sensei's murder. That's why Kanagawa PD was told to lay off RK. Any trace of RK in the footage near Sawa Sensei's place is gone. Likely public security's work. And with that kind of backing, it's understandable why RK is so confident. Yo, hold up again. Why is public security after Kuwana in the first place? Why is public security after Kuwana? Likely the wishes of a sick individual. I... I think it's this one. That's what it says. Public security is probably working for Reiko Kusumoto, Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. What? Kawana, you had your students kidnap Shinya Kawai, right? Five years ago in Kamurocho? Kawai bullied Reiko Kusumoto's son, Mitsuruku. That painted a target on his back for you. But before you took Kawai out, you approached Reiko Kusumoto with your revenge offer, didn't you? Ahara told us that. Before taking revenge on a bully, you'd approach the family about it first. Did you make the same offer to Reiko Kusumoto? What if I did? She's the vice minister of the Ministry of Health. And she's pretty popular. She's even cleaning up her predecessor's mess. If it were to surface that she agreed to a revenge killing, they'd have yet another massive scandal on their hands. And if you get to go down in cuffs instead of a body bag, that detail may just come out. Before that can happen, Reiko Kusumoto plans to have me silenced and use public security to do it. Exactly. Except public security can't just go after you. So they subcontracted RK to do the dirty work. That would explain why public security is trying to cover for RK. I see. Well, the logic starts off soundly enough. Something wrong with it? Unfortunately, yes. 
something does stick out. And what's that? I did, in fact, approach Kusumoto-san five years ago, about taking revenge on Shinya Kawai. And just as you said, I used Mama Yakun and the others to kidnap Kawai. And? From that point on, Kusumoto-san knew I was directing Mama Yakun and the others. She'd seen their faces, knew their identities, everything. So, if Kusumoto-san wanted to go after me, Mama Yakun and the others would be first on the list. But the fact is, public security hasn't laid a finger on them, even now. Which means, Kusumoto-san isn't the one giving them orders. So if Rika Kuno is was giving orders to public safety, she would have gotten quite much picture. Sure, that makes some sense. Hey, so sorry if this is off topic, but what was Kusumoto-san doing when Shinya Kawai was killed five years back? She was standing right there with me. Afterwards, she took three days of PTO, and that was a first for her. Why? Shinya Kawai died at the hands of Kusumoto-san. She drove the knife into his chest personally. She took it slow, making sure he suffered the whole time. Just like Akihiro Ehara, she avenged her son with her own two hands. I admire her. She killed Kawai herself? Afterward, she told me she'd never wash the smell of his blood off her hands. Damn, man. I was the only one who knew that, by the way. The others have no idea. On that day, five years ago, I sent them straight home after they brought me Kawai. And I was the only one with Kusumoto-san when she killed him. This sounds way too crazy to be real. Even so, the fact is Kusumoto-san hasn't betrayed. Besides, I doubt the Vice Minister is powerful enough to order public security around. Then who is giving them their orders? Well, I'd say your theory's on the right track. I'm sure public security contracted RK. It lines up with what's happened so far. I imagine they're so persistent, because they know I can be used against Kusumoto-san. Either way, whoever's pulling the strings is someone who'll benefit from your capture. So if it isn't Reiko Kusumoto, maybe it's one of her enemies? An enemy? Yeah, like someone within the Ministry of Health. Or maybe even some kind of political rival. Nothing would be more valuable to them than dirt on Kusumoto, right? They're probably trying to take her down. Or they could threaten and manipulate her as they see fit. Is that why public security has been taking action? If they wanted to take her down, they could have had the police investigate her fair and square. Whoever's behind RK and public security must be the enemy of Riko Kusumoto. It seems to be the most logical train of thought. Right. Kusumoto-san can walk away from the Ministry of Health anytime she wants. Plus, she has the public's support, especially with the younger crowds. All just more reasons for her to have enemies. I read some article about how even the Prime Minister has a hard time with her. Like, she'll get up in his face every time he signs an order. Dumbass loses so many arguments, he practically works for her now. So the Prime Minister is trying to find some dirt on Reiko Kusumoto? He's just an example. Weren't you listening when we said Kusumoto-san has lots of enemies in her position? Hey, don't be a dick. <laughs> so whoever's behind this may have been looking for a weakness in Kusumoto-san for a while. They must have got their start after realizing Ehara's case was really about getting revenge on a bully. That puts Ehara and Reiko Kusumoto in the same boat, being that their only sons were bullying victims. And if they discovered that Kawai also vanished five years ago. Regardless, that wouldn't account for the rest of the incidents where a bully ended up dead. You'd know. You're the one going up and down the whole country, killing them off, aren't you? Kawhi makes number seven. Seven? Damn, man. It wouldn't take much to connect the dots. It leads straight to her. Reiko Kusumoto. Then they'd know that she was among the victims who got her revenge. Yeah. And then... To Ahara's case. 
The link between him and Kusumoto is clear as day now if you know what you're looking for. That link is Sawa-sensei. It took me a while, but I connected the two cases together myself. It was R.K. She never should have even been on their radar. In fact, they traced your name from her. Sawa-sensei knew. She suspected you were involved with the Mikoshiba murder in one way or another, right? You don't care. You see your killing spree on these former bullies like you're doing the country a service. In your eyes, this is vengeance. Actually, no. You'd call it justice, wouldn't you? Except... Sawa-sensei wouldn't have died if it was. That was never my intent. She shouldn't have died. No. You don't get to just brush her off like that. Like an afterthought. You had to have known you'd go down for this eventually. And you're fine if all your old students like Yui Mamiya go down with you. By then, why would you look back at your trail of blood? Why would you clean up all your carnage? It's not your problem, right? You move forward with one purpose. Send as many bullies to hell as you can. Beyond that, you don't give a shit what happens. Sawa-sensei died in tears. He didn't see what I saw. The fear she must have felt was still frozen on her face. You, Ahara, Riko Kusamoto, you're all murderers. And so far, all of you have gotten away with it. So why did Yoko Sawa end up having to pay the price? Tell me. Will you even be able to look her in the eye when you die? I doubt it. That's gonna follow me well into the afterlife. So what now, then? March to the cops and turn myself in? You should. If you don't do exactly that, no one will know why she had to die. And that'll be the end of her story. Everyone will keep on dancing around her death. Even though she was completely innocent. Just like the cops are doing. Afraid I can't do that. If I turn myself in now, there's only one thing that happens. Public security takes me out. And worse, Reiko Kusumoto would be compromised. And that, I will never allow to happen. Of all the people involved in this, she deserves to walk free. Her revenge was justified. You think so? All she did was scrape off the scum of the earth that pushed her only son into an attempted suicide. She didn't sit around crying about a legal miscarriage. She took justice into her own hands. No one has any right to indict her for that. So don't go there. Nobody lays a finger on her! Hey, skinny ginger kid. Looks like this is gonna turn into a little more than a chat. Good <laughs> thinking. Let her fight! So is your plan to kill me too? Anyone who interferes with your justice? We all get added to your body count, don't we? The punishment fits the crime. You're just blind. If you can't see that, then you can go to hell! Stay out of my way! Three health bars. Bring it up. Come get some. Oh, 
Almost done. Bring it. Got him. Finish him. <sighs> so what's going to happen? Are we actually bring him in or? Has this been going now? I lost track. Call it? Nah. They're gonna tire out of it. <laughs> Beating the shit out of each other is the way some people communicate. I can see that. you had enough yet what you think it's time to give it a rest hell no stay out of our way you're not looking so <laughs> you got lucky I stopped when I did you know I had a move lined up with your name on it. <laughs> You're the one who got lucky as far as I'm concerned. I was about to kick your ass. <sighs> what a fucking mess, guys. <laughs> oh, he, wait. He's back. Wait, no, no, wait. Never mind. He's the one from Like a Dragon. Hey, both of you, eat. Your food's getting cold. One of our higher ups cooked this himself. It won't look good if there's any left. Not a problem. This stuff's great. Mmm, mm, delicious. Man, this is the good stuff. So that means Reiko Kusamoto could be being targeted by public security. Right. It's possible part of the police wants to catch me as leverage against Kusumoto-san on public security orders. But that's only if public security really is behind this. You're the one who said you got that info from a cop. Well, someone up top's been putting pressure on the investigation. That much is clear. But no matter how you slice it, the fact that you're enemy number one while RK roams free is absurd. Unfortunately, all I got out of that cop was that public security itself is who we're up against. Public security is Japan's top intelligence agency. If they're after you, there's no escape. Agreed. Then I guess now's a good time to make a suggestion. Huh? Hmm? Tell me, who benefits the most from you two fighting? Huh? That'd be public security. The more you drag each other down, the easier they'll be able to get the jump on you. By the time you notice, it's too late. They've got you. That's exactly what they want, right? But what if you two work together? You watch each other's backs and act before RK and public security do. You might even be able to find out who's pulling the strings. Huh. Yeah. For two enemies to join forces, there needs to be an even greater threat to fight. Sure. I'm on board with that. Fine, but this is only temporary. Once we've finished with public security, I'm gonna make sure you answer for what you've done. Okay, uh, then where do we start? Do we just storm public security at this point? No. First we need to confirm public security is really the enemy we're after. Right. We'll make our move after that. We have the element of surprise. They have no idea we're working together. 
then we'll use it to our advantage and outsmart them. <laughs> Aw, look at the boys playing nice. <laughs> if public security is trying to find some leverage against Kusumoto-san, they'll likely be listening in on her. They're the experts in wiretapping and espionage, after all. They just need a quick confirmation. How? <laughs> we'll just give her a call. Right here? Yes. That way, her enemy will trace the call and pinpoint our location. And public security is the only one in Japan who can pull that off, so we'll know right away if it's them. Huh. <laughs> thinking. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on! You saying if you call up Reiko Kusumoto, then the bad guys will start pouring in? Can we maybe not do that here? Actually, that might just work in our favor. Huh? Bro, why are you talking crazy? Uh, Yagami-san, you sure about getting on bro terms without Kaito-san? Wouldn't that bum him out? Whoa, this is amazing. What is this? Good shit, huh? You've got good taste, bro. I knew you of all people would notice the difference. Kuana, when was the last time you spoke to Reiko Kusumoto? Five years ago, on the night she killed Kawai. We arranged it, so we'd never contact each other after that. So you have her number, then? If it hasn't changed. What is it, then? I have an idea. What? We're gonna set a trap to find out if we really are up against public security. If they trace the call and they send people for us, then we know for sure it's them. That's why we're gonna call Reiko Kusumoto using a location that doesn't exist at all. How's that work? We'll use two phones that can't be traced back to us, and we'll relay your voice. Obviously, you won't be wherever we do this from. Best to do this someplace with no one around. Once we see who they send in, mission accomplished. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. You'll catch up, sugiura -kun. First, we need to know our enemy. I'll have Tsukumo prep us some burner phones. Which means... a truce for the time being? Only while you're here. Gotta keep things civil for my brother. Zhao sounds cooking makes even the suckier situations not suck. Cheers to that! Hey, so Tsukumo kun's already got the phones ready. They're burners that can't be traced back to us. Two of them, right? Just like you asked for. Nicely done, Yokohama 99. You work quick. All right, time to see Sukumo. Do I have to take a taxi or can we just... All right, let's pull over. Just the two I've been waiting for. Excellent work, by the way. Hey, got those burner phones ready? <laughs> of course I do. Who do you think I am? I still don't fully get what's going on. Yagami-san, what are we gonna do with these? Okay, I'll break it down. First, we call Kawana on one phone. Let's say this one here. Then we use this other phone to call Reiko Kusumoto. Using them that way. The phones won't be connected to each other, but their voices will be relayed so they can talk normally. Oh, okay. And then? If public security finds out Reiko Kusumoto's talking to Kawana, they'll trace the call without actually finding him. Then we can see exactly who they send without risk of being seen ourselves. Mm-hmm. I think I'm getting it. Surely you don't intend to do that here, do you? That would put a beacon on us for Kawana-san's enemies. Yeah, we'll do it somewhere remote. We need a place where nobody would raise an eyebrow at an army of public security boys. And it's gotta have a good vantage point. Hmm. There's a building under construction not far from here. 
It's late, so no one should be around that may get involved unintentionally. Where is it? It's right near Sayrio High. There's a crane by the river, too. You'll know when you see it. Okay. You two stay put. I should be able to handle this alone. Uh, you sure about that? Let me at least put out a drone, Nagamishi. Even if it isn't much. I'll use it to capture the faces of Kawana-san's pursuers. <laughs> That'd be good. Come on. Switch coil. I guess we can try this drone on the next time. Yeah. Let's go. Did that car try to run us over? I think we earned enough to boost up our attacks again. Yep, more than enough. Or do I want to boost up their... Uh, wait, oh, it's just a health boost for the skills, okay. Oh, I guess... Boost attack 40... Grip. And I think there was another 10k that I could learn. So this one? Then we'll learn the extension to increase our time. Why is this always? Let's go. the construction site. Where's the opening? Oh. This must be the construction site Tsukumo was talking about. Yagamishi, I've confirmed your position. Yeah. I think I can spot whoever comes close from here. I'm gonna call Kawana on the burner now. Understood. It's Kawana. You ready? I'm about to call Reiko Kusumoto. Once you're connected, you take it from there. It's been five years since I last spoke to her. Yeah. Can't imagine this won't be awkward. I know. Okay, do it.
Yes, hello? This is Kitakata, from Kurokawa Academy. What? You'll have to forgive me for this, but the position I'm in required me to reach out to you. I would never have done this otherwise. I should also note, there's a high probability this phone call is being tapped. I see. Very well, then. It's been 13 years, Kusumoto-san. So it has. Kitakata-sensei. I've read about your accomplishments. To think you'd become a vice minister. You never really know how things are going to work out. Ah, uh, but that's not true at all, Kusumoto-san. You were always destined to move up in the world. I've got to be honest with you. A woman as virtuous and as capable as you deserves the world and then some. But... How is Mitsuru-kun? I'm afraid he's still asleep. Nothing's changed. I see. I wish I had the words. What is it you wanted? If you've been watching the news, you've probably already heard. I've become a prime suspect for a crime. They think I murdered Yokosawa in her apartment. I heard. Obviously, it wasn't me who killed her, of course. Do you happen to remember Sawakun by any chance? The girl from your class. She was the only one of those students who ever came to visit Mitsuru. But even then, that's been at least ten years now. I got a letter from her once. She wanted to tell me she'd become a teacher. But I never did reply. And that was the last I'd heard from her. I see. So back to my question. What do you want? I hope you weren't planning to ask me for a favor. I'm afraid the answer would be no. No, it's not that. It's just... I wanted to let you know that at some point, someone may come to you to ask a few questions about me. I thought I should give you a heads up. I'll make every effort to ensure they won't cause any trouble for you, Kusumoto-san. I'm sorry about this. I'll try to handle it from my side. So in your opinion, then, do you believe anything related to you could cause me any trouble? Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be just fine. We're almost to the signal. Kill the headlights. Two cars inbound. Looks like we were right on the money. This proves Reiko Kusumoto's phone is compromised. And if there's one organization capable of tracing a call and moving on it, it's got to be public security on the hunt for Kawana. Public security is really coming straight to you by car? No. There's no way they could mobilize their people that quickly. My guess? It's got to be the prefectural police that they've got in their pocket. Or it's just RK. I will say it's been great to hear your voice again. But this should be the last time you ever hear from me. I'll try my best. I understand. Goodbye. Hey, look! It's a drone! It has a phone attached to it! Shoot it! Shoot it down! You sure? Uh, just take it down! Hurry it up! Hey! What the fuck are you aiming at? I can't hit it! It's too small! Shit! Damn, dude. How the hell are we supposed to chase down a drone? And where the fuck is this Kiwana guy? Who knows, man? They called us in to catch this shithead, but how the hell are we supposed to do that? It's fucked up. Do we look like spec ops? Yeah, right? But at least you gotta shoot that thing. <laughs> this is my second time, actually. I took a few shots at some kids in a park. <laughs> I aimed at the ground and sent those little shits running for their lives. <laughs> We're done here. Pack it in! That's six punks and only one gun between you by my count. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? It was you guys in charge. I'm sure Kawana would have had this whole thing solved a long time ago. Well, then again, I suppose I do have to give you credit for how fast you made it here. That was my gun, asshole! 
Who's the one giving the orders? You may as well just level with me. You guys are RK's bottom rung, right? It sounds like you must know Kuana. <laughs> well, I guess we're not gonna be leaving here empty-handed after all. Come on! We're taking this guy in, boys! Fuck him up! Why does this always happen? Who sent you here? The order came from the head honchos in RK. You mean Soma? Not that high up. It was one of the bosses. There's a bunch of them. What did they tell you to do once you found Kuwana? They just said to catch him. Well, they also made it very clear not to kill him. <laughs> like we'd pull the trigger. We never even heard what our cut was. Just another useless grunt. <laughs> Tell me, gentlemen. How would you feel if you found out you were just pawns in public security's game? Uh, we're playing what game now? I suggest you quit RK while you can. Go tell your buddies, get them out too. Otherwise, they'll keep you in the dark, use you and toss you aside. And then, you'll end up in a ditch there's no crawling out of. Yes? Pardon me. You would be Reiko Kusumoto, correct? Sir, it's a little late for this. And how'd you get in here in the first place? I've expressly forbid having visitors. <laughs> Calm now. I'm a coordinator with the National Police Bureau, but I'm sure you're familiar with my division of public security. Bondo is my name, ma'am. Are you now? Well, I'm afraid coordinator is rather vague. I have a more public-facing title as well, of course. But I'm trying to be discreet here, so let's not get bogged down with minor details. It's in our best interests. I'm afraid that won't help. I've already seen to that. What is this? It's a question I need answered with some urgency, Kusumoto-san. It concerns the disappearance of a certain individual. Huh. About five years ago, a man vanished off the streets of Kamurocho. I'm sure you'll recognize him. A former classmate of Mitsuru-kun here, Shinya Kawai. I believe there are things you might know. I can say that with some level of certainty, as a matter of fact. Wonder how he's related to, uh... Kawhi. A shadow looms over Yagami and Kuwana. Japan's National Intelligence Agency, Public Security, fixes its gaze on Reiko Kuzumoto of the Ministry of Health. 
Five years ago, Kuana prompted her to take revenge on Shinya Kawai for pushing her son to the brink. Secrets can only lie dormant so long, and upon their waking, chaos ensues. We're at chapter 11 now. 